Dr. Chris Fox here. Today, today we're going to take a look at McMurray's test. The purpose of McMurray's test is to assess for potential meniscal tear. Now, the test by itself doesn't have great diagnostic accuracy, but when combined with a couple other tests and measures, uh, it provides great diagnostic accuracy. So I'm going to have my patient in supine, and I'm going to take the tested leg into maximal or near maximal hip and knee flexion. I'm going to palpate the medial and lateral joint line of the tibiofemoral joint. And I'm going to start by externally rotating the tibia and providing a valgus force. Now going from that maximally hip and knee flexed position with that external rotation, I'm going to increase the valgus force and take the, pa the patient into hip and knee extension. What I'm looking for with this is any uh, potential clicking or popping. Pain by itself is not a positive result of the test. We're looking for clicking or popping. I will then repeat it with internal rotation and a varus force while starting in that hip and knee flexion again and moving into hip and knee extension. Again, we are looking for clicking and popping. 